Marlon Brando gave the world his iconic film performances, but he also left a personal trove of revealing audio tapes. In Listen to Me, Marlon, director Stephen Riley judiciously combines Brando's tapes, his extraordinary performances, and even a hologram made of Brando in the 1980s to show whole new dimensions of the actor. The result is the ingenious autobiography that Brando never wrote. The greatest fear an actor has is fear. I don't want to get caught trying. I don't want to get caught being afraid that my story, my pretending, my lie, is going to be disbelieved. Oh, judgment, thou art led to brute his feet! Inferiority. I've been very close to it all my life. Here to accept the Peabody Award is John Batzak. Good evening. Um, it's a great honor to win this award, and I, I share it with many people with whom I collaborated to make this film. Um, my sincerest thanks go to David Nevins and his amazing team at Showtime, to Helen Parker and her team at Universal, to everyone at my beloved Passion Pictures in London, and to my great fellow producers, RJ Cutler and George Chignall. To Mike Medavoy, Rebecca Brando, and Avra Douglas, a deep debt of gratitude for their trust and belief. And most of all, to our writer, director, editor, Stephen Riley, for his Herculean efforts creating a film that we're all very proud of. Thank you very much. <laughs> 